I will be honest with you guys, I have no clue what they are doing. You know, this is type of uh, installation, a type of a commission where you are not responsible for the installation actually. Okay, you see, hold on, so the environment is kind of, uh, you know, disturbing, okay, you have your, your studio, you know, clean, everything is nice and stuff, and you think you are a cool mosaic artist and stuff, and then you face this here, who the, you know, what is this? Look at that. This is your new, you know, your coffee shop. Here you can get your tea if you want to. Okay, whatever. This is the fountain right here. And you see people were still working on something over there. So I had to wait until the guys, you know, just set this whole area you know it's full with stuff okay so this was the environment a lot of noise and dust and so many people out there so it's the first shock that you get when you are at the installing installation process let's go to the next one so photo number two do you see what I see, you know, thickness? Okay, this is because of it staying like on two different stages, but there is kind of a thickness difference, you know, if you know what I mean. What is this kind of a photo? I have no clue. Let's go to the next one. So what I'm going up to is, um, <clears throat> what I want to try to say is all the stuff has numbers. They came, I brought them from Istanbul to Antalya. That's a 12 hours of driving. Okay. And boxes and stuff, I can't see the boxes right now, but I can't see, I can see the numbers, you know. That's a 13, that's a 10. You know, you, you have to set this up because the workers has no clue what this is about you know so they want to see it and then you have to find a place which is ground you know which is not that dirty okay and you need to set up all this stuff in that area you know people are walking around and stuff they are stepping on your mosaic and saying I'm sorry you know this kind of stuff so next um, you see the ground is looks so terrible kind of a, and we was trying to understand where we can begin to lay the mosaics you know and this is this was our decision we're gonna start this way all this you know this Corners, how, we, how we can we call this? What's the word for this? Must fit, you know? Like, the next one must fit in here. But what if these guys w did not, you know, make this fountain correctly? Because we was commissioned by a AutoCAD drawing. It's a computer software drawing. It's possible that this mosaic will not fit to this you know, see, to these shapes, you know, that's the biggest stress almost always, I mean, in those kind of uh, uh, installations. You see this pipe here? So we had to stick some, you know, some pieces up. And they began to lay the tiles. Okay, here is another piece, you know, because of this, um, how you call that? I don't know, this is not mosaic, you know, this is a piece of the fountain about this water's circulation, how you call that? 
It's dirty as much as possible. It's dirty, full dirty, you know. And so luckily things are fitting somehow. I remember this guy, he, he was really knows what he was doing, which was cool. That's not mosaic, that's a glass kind of a it's going all around and here is our mosaic which is almost done. You see the messy thing here? You know it 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 don't looks to me like it's straight, it's not. You know this happens when you are creating the mosaic by a software, using a software drawing, and that you know in reality who built this fountain, you know. It's handmade, so and this is handmade too. That's why they had to push around, you know, the tiles. And this is then what you got. It's not looking good, actually. Okay, next. So everything fits somehow by pushing, you know, bit to there, bit to here. It fit. And when the work is done, it looks great somehow. It's quite interesting. So many, you know, mistakes in here, you know, it's because of this pushing. Okay. And this is our coffee and tea shop here. Remember that? We have kind of a tea inside. You know, and then you can come and get some coffee if you want to. You definitely want. You have my word. Okay. So about the installation, I also have some footage in here to show you the real environment. People are talking and stuff. People are coming out from everywhere. This is, I believe, where we still didn't start it. Hold on a second. You know, I will be honest with you guys, I have no clue what they are doing. You know, this is type of uh, installation, a type of a commission where you are not responsible for the installation actually. This guy is not belongs to me. With this I mean, I didn't hire them, you know. And um, you are just responsible, I was just responsible for to get the right numbers, like these numbers here, to the right places, okay? To get the perfect, um, the perfect shape, you know? And I had no clue what they are doing. You know, what is this? What kind of uh, mortar is this? I have no clue. So I was just watching. And I was changing the direction of the camera because the guys was not really in love to get filmed. Excuse me. Two other short videos. Okay. So what they're doing, what they're doing is getting the stuff on the same level, if you know what I mean. Hold on. Remember where I said this orange is the thickness is more like that and this thickness of the tile is more thick, you know, like this one, like this one and stuff. So what he's doing actually is try, he's pushing tiles and he's trying to get everything on the same level. So why I'm saying this, hold on, that's important. You see he's checking if everything is on the same level. But in the same time, 
you know, he is kind of a uh, You see, he's pushing the tides down. That's a mistake. We're going to talk about this. But right here, what he's, what he's doing is he's checking if everything is on the same level. And it's quite interesting. It is. You know? You see, the tiles are all on the same level. How are you going to do that? I'll tell you. Hold on. Okay, that's all the footage that I have. So, I got this question the most. When you have tiles in different thickness on, you know, glued on a mosaic mesh, how are you going to manage that, you know? You will have your tiles all on the same level, especially in the pool or in the fountain. It's like when you roll that mortar on the floor, a bit thicker than usual and you lay your tile on the floor or on a wall it's not a problem and you wait for a bit then that mesh is getting wet means you can push the tile which is staying up down you know to get it all on the same level as simple as that put your mesh with your mosaic in different thickness I'm not talking like one centimeter and five centimeter no like 0.8 and 1.2 centimeter thickness difference is good when you have a very thick mortar on roll it on floor or on a wall and you put your mosaic mesh with your mosaics on floor you know or on a wall and when you wait a bit then the mosaic once again the mesh is getting wet it's getting soft and it allows you to you know push the tiles which is a bit thicker to get it on the same level mm -hmm.